All right, we got a little bit of a different video this week because I'm kind of behind on what I've been wanting to record. But I saw this ROM, well, I say ROM, this mod to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time called The Legend of Zelda Sealed Palace, and I felt like playing it. But in the course of me trying to want to play this game, I went through some hurdles that I think a lot of other people are going to go through. So this is the tutorial for that. So first of all, we want to download the ROM. So you look for the download button and it's going to ask you to download it. The first time you download it from this website, it's going to ask if you're a human and you download it like so. Next, you're going to want to go to this web page. This will be in the description below. And this is a mod patcher. So you choose your version 1.0 there are places to get version 1.0 of Ocarina of Time. Make sure you get 1.0. It may work with 1.2. I haven't tried with 1.2 once I worked out how to actually do this. And you're going to want to extract your ROM and your BPS file into its individual folders instead of being inside the archive itself. You then choose your patch file, which I would do by going here. And you choose your BPS file. And you choose your ROM file, which is right here. And then you press the patch button and this will patch it for you. And then you just instantly download that. Next, you're gonna need Project 64. I've been trying to get it to work with um, RetroArch, but RetroArch was not behaving at all. So I downloaded Project 64 instead. You then install Project 64 like you would normally. Oh, it's already got it running. Let me just fix that one. And then you're gonna notice that it's not in the list here. It doesn't say it's compatible, but it is. So you're gonna open your ROM. You're then gonna extract your sealed palace into a proper folder. No, it's the BPS one, not the one I want. Where is it? Whatever, it should work. And then just starts playing. It was that simple. Uh, sorry about the double audio. <laughs> Let me fix that. There we go. Um, so that's essentially how you get Legend of Zelda Sacred Palace working on your computer. And it should just, you know, be fine. I don't know why it's not going full screen when I double click. I'll tend to work. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's see how this works in the OBS. <laughs> yeah, that's not working good at all. Alrighty then. So that's the end of my tutorial. I'm going to close project. 64. It's bugging out like crazy. Don't know how this is all going to look in the OBS. So we're back to my desktop. Not exactly what I wanted to be showing, but hey. And that's how you play a special Legend of Zelda, The Sealed Palace. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next week, or maybe more likely in a couple of days once I get my next review done. See you later.